Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. I want to show something interesting that I have recently had to answer. Imagine we have a couple of elements. In this case, we have a couple of rectangles, A, B, and C. And they are laid out in the parent container, which is right here, in such a way that they overlap, or at least some of them overlap. For example, A overlaps with C, C overlaps with B, but A doesn't overlap with B. We want to check this, so how do we do this in Cypress? Before we answer this question, let's see how we can get the rectangles using plain JavaScript and the DOM in the browser. So I'm going to open the DevTools, I'm going to look at the Elements tab, and I'm going to hover over the desired element, in this case this rectangle A. Let's open the console, and every time we have a selected element like this one, we can refer to it as dollar sign zero. Notice that gives us the last selected element. So anytime you have a dumb element, the browser knows where it is on the page. And you can get the same information using, in this case, element, get bounding client rectangle. And it has X and Y, width and height, top and bottom. So you have this information with regarding to the page. And if we select another element, we can get its bounding rectangle and a slight difference. So the question of overlapping elements now becomes of get dumb elements from which we get bound client rectangles and then it's just mathematical, geometrical comparison are these rectangles overlapping or not. So right now I have just the HTML set up in my page and all it remains to do is write a JavaScript test. Okay, let's start. First, I need to bring an algorithm to compare two rectangles. This algorithm you can find on Stack Overflow, you can write yourself. Basically, you want to eliminate all the rectangles that are completely to the right or to the left of each other, right, by comparing right and left. If two rectangles are completely to the left or to the right of each other, they cannot overlap. Similarly, you cannot overlap if you are above or below a rectangle. Okay, and all rectangles that remain after this operation, after this elimination, must overlap in some ways. So we have a little function, we just need the rectangle. Now we can start writing Cypress specific code. We can get the first rectangle. Now this gives us a jQuery element, so we cannot directly invoke get bounding client rec. Unfortunately, this will fail because this is not a method on a jQuery object. Instead, we first have to get the actual jQuery object, and then from this jQuery object get the first element, because we assume it's a single rectangle, and we can enforce it through an assertion, of course. And here we can say get bounding client, okay? Now, if we don't believe it works, let's print it, si uh, then sci.log, okay? Uh, may, might not be serializable, so let's say console plot. Let's open DevTools, add to console, and yeah, so we're getting the right thing. The easiest thing for us is to abstract this particular expression into a utility function. So we're gonna create it, just like we create our overlapping, the same way we can say get rectangle. It expects a jQuery object, gets the first element out of that collection, and gets its rectangle. Okay, so we can do it for each element, so B, C, but we need now access to each uh, element's rectangle together. So unfortunately, we'll have to create, in this case, a little bit of a pyramid of doom. So instead of just calling it one after another, we'll say, get me the first one, get me the second one, and get me the third one. So now we have all three rectangles. Well, once we have rectangles, we can use our overlapping to get a Boolean value. We expect in our code A to, let's say, overlap with C. So we can say expect our overlapping rect A, rect C. And we can add a second argument to the expect assertion A and C. And this should be overlapped, so we'll say to be true. Okay, and they are overlapping. On the other hand, 
A and B, I believe, are not overlapping. So we'll say A and B to be false. And if they are false, and we can compare it as many elements as we want. So again, think about your problem with DOM elements in terms of actual browser element code. Write utility functions if necessary. Write utility functions to go from jQuery results of get and site find and site contains, and then they use explicit assertions to conduct checks on the element page. Now, this example assumes that once we found both rectangles, that they stay static, that the bounding rectangles don't change, which is the case for majority of cases. It's not like your login button keeps moving around the page and sometimes it overlaps, sometimes it doesn't. So I think in most cases, what I've shown is good enough. Now, this example and a lot of, of other examples comes from my Cypress examples repository, which has a built documentation static page. Not only you have examples for each Cypress command, you also have recipes, all discussing more complicated cases. This particular example is the last one I added that discusses overlapping rectangles or overlapping elements on a page. So you can always find solutions by searching my website, glebachmutov.com slash cypress examples.